than it is to, um, waste money on something that might not make money. And screw the little channels, too. Nobody cares about those things, either. Fuck. They're actually getting kind of challenging in here. Throw your guard down, buddy. Just... Yeah, hit them. All of them. But, you know, I it, it, it doesn't matter. I don't have money to play with, and... What little money I have... I have so many games right now, it really doesn't matter. Because, as it is, I fucking bought two damn near new games. Well, one of them was new, and one of them was on release date. Like, I bought God of War Ascension, and I'm like, oh, this is going to pull views, it's God of War, it's popular, and it ended up being a waste of money for me. I might have made off and broke even on it, but I really don't think I have. Um, and then I bought um, Last of Us on release day. I was at the fucking midnight sale, and that has not pulled any fucking views. Like, most of the videos are single digits. And, you know, it ain't shit. It is not shit. And I'm, re I'm really thinking I want to. And I, I'm, I, I want to and I don't want to. I really want to do a Survivor Plus walkthrough for my channel so I can do a hardest difficulty and add it to what I already have. Whoa, yes, full life. I like that shit. You should give those, like, every five levels instead of that bullshit high potion. That high potion ain't shit. You hear? Ooh, sun tears. I don't even think I need those anymore. I might. I might have a use for them. I don't remember. I might still have a few extra. But, um... Did somebody hit me? I was trying to do my... Combo finishing move. But I don't know, it's like, well, my channel sucks anyway, so it's not like I can easily get away with playing um, any any random game, and it's not like it's going to give views. However, how much the YouTube's algorithms, if you will, have changed is that it didn't matter what game I used to play, it would have some views. It wouldn't have all views, it would have some views. And now it just doesn't even matter anymore. Because, um, you know, and I need to pull out one of the other characters. I think this is the one that does it. It has, where can I view the skills? No, it doesn't. Where does it show? It shows it over here. No, it's not this one, is it? Because there's, a, the, one of them has an ability... Where they can purify? I think it's this one. Where it purifies the... Does it not show up here? Huh. Pretty sure it did. But, so... It's, he's not going to try to purify him, is he? Damn it, he put his shield back up, didn't he? So, I don't know. With, with the algorithms all fucked up and all they do is promote shit that is on... It doesn't even have to be related to this game. Like, for example, if you look at the recommended on this game, more than likely... It's not even going to show other Castlevania walkthroughs from either this game, any of the other titles, or, um... Why aren't you purifying those fucking... Oh, I don't... It might... Either he doesn't do it, or it's the other fairy that does it. Or, it's because he's lower level than they are. So, I'm just going to say, fuck that, car fuck that ID, and I'm just going to pull out... This guy, and we're going to finish kicking their ass, because at least I know he does his fucking job. And the other guys just didn't do shit. Pulled him out to purify, and he ain't doing a fucking thing, asshole. Okay, put your shield thing down, guys, you assholes. 
You son of a bitch. Come on, put your shield down. No? You son of a bitch. These guys are annoying. There was another guy that dropped his shield thing. Oh! Now they all have it back up. So... I don't know. I really do just need uh, somebody to work with as far as stuff goes. And finding someone that, you know, shares the same ideals and vision and, you know, we still work together well. That's the challenge itself, really. You know. Because I just don't want to work with just anybody just to work with anybody. Not that there isn't, you know, a few decent YouTubers out there that I'd work well with. And I honestly rather would have worked with the guy I met in college that is, has over a million subscribers and is making a living doing stuff with his crew of people. Oh, you sons of bitches. I was hoping to get through here without issue. Don't even want to fuck with y'all. I ain't even in a move for y'all. And honestly, I didn't even get a, I didn't even get along with that guy well either. But you know, we could still, there was still just enough there that we could conversate. And even if it would have started off rough, where we wouldn't have had that interesting banter, or this and that nonsense, then you know, we still, but it would have been able to work on it. Um. And while I don't watch everything of his, I watch enough. And, he, you know, he's a cool guy. And obviously, if he has a million subscribers, he's doing something right. And, you know, if, and then again, if I had somebody to work with, you know, we could throw ideas back and forth on this or that or whatever anyway. So, I mean, it would be cool. It's wishful thinking. I've tried to reach out to him a few times, but either he's ignoring me or... Um, he, he just gets spammed a lot, and it could be one or the other. And at this point, you know, unless something happens where it lines up and somehow we can work out something that would be awesome, but otherwise I've kind of been like, fuck it, and I'll just do whatever. And I could have used that the whole time. Asshole. So, I don't know. I've tried to reach out to him a few times and never heard any kind... Never got any kind of response... Like, the last time we spoke was, I don't know, 2009, 2010. Um, and it was, like, right around the time he got 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. So I remember I said something, hey, man, you know, I noticed, you know, you had 1,000 subscribers, and I knew you were going to hit 2,000 soon after that. It was just going to happen, and he did, like, a month or two after he went from 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. So, I mean, that was pretty damn good. And, obviously, back then, it was easier to get that kind of traffic, whereas today, you have all this competition, and, you know, it's obviously easier to pull traffic the longer you've been around and already built up that following. Um, and, you know, as, as well as, it's just easy promotion if you have somebody to work with and collaborate with and... Um, you know, if one person likes this person, then hey, maybe they'll like this other person's crappy shit. So, um, maybe if something works out, but honestly, I don't even think the chemistry would be there to pull off something awesome between us because, I don't know, um, that's, that's kind of how I'm guessing. I don't, honestly, I was a shitty classmate, so I'm really sure that didn't leave the greatest impression because we did work in a group together once or twice and I was just an idiot. Then again, back then, I was still smoking pot all the time and drinking and partying. I was the type where, uh, up until I quit smoking pot, I'd go into class and it'd be like a group assignment. And it'd be like, awesome, I'm going to go get drunk. You guys have fun with that. Peace, bitches. And then I'd go get drunk and everybody else would do the work. And, you know, nah, it, well, it didn't go over too well. But, you know, genu generally, I just tried to be like, hey, let me return the favor sometime, let me buy you a beer or something. And not that I returned the favor every time, but, you know, I, I, was, I actually did, um, like, I, I think I was with a classmate for like a year or two, um, you know, on and off throughout classes. And one time I was at, you know, I was a project manager on a job, assistant project manager. And I noticed 
that, you know, we were running behind, we were behind on schedule. You know, we had an entire team that were new, no call, no shows when they were supposed to be there. I was like, hey, you know what, hold on, let me call some people, let me get some people in here. And let's see what we can do. So I was like, okay, cool, get me some resumes, get me some numbers. So we got some, we got, I got an entire team in there. And, you know, we did the damn thing and everybody was pretty fucking on point. I mean, it was easy, almost... You know, I really didn't have to, have to spend a whole lot of time showing them what to do anyway. You know, I got them started and they were great. They, they took it from there. But, you know, instead of... I, it was even better than returning the favor of getting them beer. I got them fucking money in their pocket, you know? Um, so, you know, I, the little things I try to do like that. Um, I obviously didn't get to make that up to everybody. And I was not the biggest party person in college either. Well, I was with my own friends, but, you know, with people I didn't know too well. Um, I still try to reach out. Hey, guys, what are you doing after class? Let's go grab a beer. And they'd be all making excuses of why not to go grab a beer. Like, hey, man, let's go grab a beer. And it'd be like, no, sorry, I'm going to go home and have sex with my dog tonight. <laughs> Assholes. That's obviously not what they said, but I just... Uh, given an extreme example of the kinds of excuses I would hear and it really sucked it after so long I kind of got the point that nobody really wanted to fuck with me and I don't know maybe I'm sure it was me I'm sure I was I was very off-putting on a lot of shit I pulled throughout college then again you know I I can't say I was the best student in college either I wasn't the best student I wasn't the best classmate at least for the first year and a year, year and a half to two years, you know, I'd fucking when I still smoked pot, you know, I'd it'd be like I'd take a break and then go out to my car and smoke a bowl, and instead of going back into class, I'd just go home. Fuck that shit, you know. Go smoke me some more pot. You know, I didn't have the goodest of grade, the best of grades, goodest, best of grades. Um. Where's the guys that to attack me? You're gonna disappoint me like that? And I have full health. Oh, you sons of bitch! I could skip him. I want the I want the XP though. Fuck it. You son of a bitch! Stop moving around. So, I don't know. I'm still kind of in contact with some people, just not like semi speak to them regularly or anything. And the networking really. It wasn't, it wasn't the strongest either, especially as I'm not the best at socializing, I would say. Um, I'd use more vulgar, offensive terms, and I've kind of dropped it out of my lexicon, but I would describe myself as a social retard. I'm sure there's a better way of that, but that's, that's what I was used to describe for a long time, and I'm just trying to find a better... better... Um, description even though that's like pretty much like the strongest that I could use even though retard is a lot of people will take that the wrong way even if it's not saying somebody who is mentally handicapped although at times I've felt like I have been and it really does suck but they're like you shouldn't make fun of somebody with a real handicap because it's not funny and you suck at being funny but then again along with stuff like that I've also dropped um much of I've I've, do, I've done my best. I can't say I'm perfect, but I've, I think I've done all right as far as dropping um, sexist, misogynistic, um, rape humor. Um, you know, perpetuating rape culture, um, racism. I'm pretty sure I've done an all right job in dropping most of that bad humor from my lexicon. Um, because, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of this year learning, 